Xiao, a town in western Taiwan, is surrounded by the ocean and mountains. You may see its simplicity when a train stops there. You may walk alongside the ocean, embraced by Tongxiao, while driving on the western highway. Nowadays, on the far side of the Taoyan ancient path and in the green field, there is a touching story about a man and a woman unfolding. The man and the woman have turned the woods into an art park. Walking into Zunto Kiln Park, you can see a swift man with bare feet. You are right. He is the park owner, Tony Ong. In addition, you can also find a dainty little woman, Daisy. She not only paints her inner art scenery, but also has been Tony's important partner in building the park. People frequently ask me why I am engaged in ceramics, especially since I majored in commercial information, not ceramics. In fact, early on, I did business. My business focused on Thailand. There were also some bases in Singapore and mainland China. During my six-year stay in Thailand, I met my first master who taught me to play with clay. To be honest, he was not a formal master. He was the one who tricked me into learning about ceramics. Surprisingly, when he came back to Taiwan, Tony didn't make his work public immediately. He chose to learn more diligently without using his familiar techniques and accumulate his creative energies. His learning in Taiwan took him two or three years. During his learning in Taiwan, he conversed with clay, fire, and even his heart. It shows his honesty and his respect for ceramics. Meanwhile, it presents his firm self-confidence after choosing his road. Time has proved he fulfilled his achievement. Tony has been successful. Nowadays, his work earns him acclaim not only in Taiwan, but also in the USA and Japan. It was during this period, Tony found his soulmate in both his life and in art. That's Daisy. From then on, ceramics and paintings were the eternal goals for this couple. In 1998, the couple was invited to Santa Ana College, California, USA, as resident artists for one year. A series of brilliant accomplishments reflected Tony and Daisy's insistence and continued art creativity. Although ceramic creations have won him acclaim, at this moment, there is a greater dream waiting for him to fulfill in Tony's mind. After coming back from America, always believing in life is art, 
Tony started to search for a paradise to express the beauty of ceramics permanently. Finally, he chose the woods in Tongxiao. In July 1999, Tony bought the woods in Zuntong. He planned to develop this land slowly. After two months, beyond all expectations, the terrible 921 earthquake occurred. All of Tony's ceramic works in his own art studio were destroyed. Facing this sudden accident, Tony was not busy checking his loss. Instead, from the first moment, he went directly to the Dongshi disaster area to help the victims of the disaster. As an artist, it was unspeakable torture to see his own work destroyed. However, Tony chose another active way to continue the history of his broken work. Now, those broken pieces, recording the bitter memory of 921, are quietly inlaid into the walls of the park. Tony reinterprets the beauty of his broken work in dramatically different ways. The 921 earthquake broke ceramic work and inadvertently accelerated the construction of Tony's art park. After helping the victims of the disaster, Tony and Daisy did the preliminary development of the grounds. No roads? They broke a path through the woods. No water? They channeled water. At the beginning, both of them even lived in a tent for a while in the woods. The complete blueprint of the park was emerging in Tony's mind, step by step. And under Tony's construction, the park became concrete day by day. Beginning with breaking roads, constructing the grounds and planting plants, and continuing until the building of the first thematic house, the family's assistance infused the park with warmth. Even Andy, Tony's son, an elementary school student at the time, picked up a brush to paint the house in colors. As for building materials, Tony brought his spirit of creation into full play. Selecting materials without limitation, and then bringing the characteristics of the materials into full play. After we first arrived in Tongxiao, we originally planned to make use of stones to construct the park. At the beginning, though I am an expert at ironwork, we did not consider using iron materials. The reason was because iron materials are too expensive. Later on, I used plenty of iron because of the construction of the highway and the high-speed railway. The highway and the high-speed railway both go through Tongxiao, so many abandoned construction materials became available. Local housewives may take them home or ride motorcycles with these abandoned materials to sell. It could be valued at two and a half or three dollars each kilogram. I told those housewives to store up the abandoned materials at home. I bought them from them at a higher price. As a result, I stored 20 or 30 tons of abandoned steel bars in our park. That's why you can see plenty of steel bars in our construction. As you sip an osmanthus coffee while sitting under a sea of people, these steel bars, recording Taiwanese main construction in the 21st century, transfer their duty to work for art in silence. At the preliminary stage of the construction in the park, besides Daisy's painting studio, the most important construction is the Zunto kiln, created and designed by Tony himself. After I set up the Taiwanese Wood Fire Association and built many kilns for people, Zunto is the one I designed only for myself after arriving in Tongxiao. Regarding the kiln, breaking through the traditional ways, I combined characteristics of Anagama kiln and Noborigama kiln together to design my kiln. Moreover, I increased the gradient of my kiln to make the firing more adaptable, so that the texture of ceramics would be richer. Actually, we had more difficulties in constructing the kiln. It took us eight months to build the kiln. 
but building a three-storied studio took us only six months. Therefore, this shows how much time and energy we put into this kiln. After its long five-year construction, Junto Kiln Art Museum finally opened on Father's Day in 2004. The park contained diverse appearances and functions in art, education and entertainment. Right now, the park consists of Tony's own art studio, Daisy's painting studio, the museum, Junto Kiln, art gallery, audio-visual presentation room, STARS Observatory, ecological pool, and happy potter area, where people can experience the fun of making pottery. We often hear that life must be artistic, but it is not easy to achieve. Therefore, when we plan this park, on the opposite side, we hope to make art lively. As a result, when you come here, you can not only hear art and see art, but also use art and do it yourself. That's our ideal for the park. After all these years, we still haven't changed our minds. We hope this park makes life more artistic and makes art livelier. At this moment, wandering in the park, you will find the park is Tony's largest creation. As time goes by, this work will present more and more multiple appearances. In the future, in Tony's blueprint, Junto Kiln will be in touch with international artists. Besides, Junto Kiln will have more and more wonderful additions to its hardware equipment, service, and work exhibition. When I was in Thailand, I had an idea of building an educational park. At that time, I worked as a minister in the Foreign Affairs Department in an art and craft center. I took charge of its educational promotion. In this park, I hope one day we can offer residency programs to artists around the world. They can do research or study here. That's our concept. We hope we can make it come true. Junto Kiln welcomes every visitor with outstretched arms. Right now, Junto Kiln is wearing another hard-working appearance. In the ceramic world, Tony's Junto Kiln, with Tony, wants to be the most faithful citizen, silently and displaying his most brilliant achievement. In the undeveloped park, there will be more unexpected programs to present. Right here in Tongxiao right here in Junto Kiln. Every visit brings you a different and rich experience. <laughs>